So if I say move forward, uh, is the, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, it's moving forward. Uh, okay, uh, I don't want to drown. Uh, jump, jump, jump. Yo guys, it's Happy Tree Newsbro here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be playing Minecraft using our voice, our wonderful voice. And it's gonna go completely wrong because my accent is really weird, uh, it's not gonna understand me, stuff is gonna go south, and it's gonna be amazing. So basically, I created a simple Python script that makes this possible. The problem is, I didn't set it up correctly, so a lot of commands are gonna be like really weird and it's gonna be literally unplayable. But hopefully, after this video, I'm gonna share the source code and you will be able to improve it and actually, you know, make this plausible uh, as opposed to the freaking impossible nightmarish that you're gonna witness yes because we're gonna be playing minecraft using only our voice commands okay so let me start up the script and see how it goes so the first thing i'm gonna do is disable the full screen so you can also see the script okay uh this is already not going well okay well that didn't uh uh that didn't do oh and the game crashed while Minecraft is booting back up, let's take a very quick look at the script. Basically, and, and then there we go, we are not gonna be looking at the script today. So this is our script. I basically have a dictionary of words that I'm gonna detect. And if a certain word is said, then a certain key is gonna be pressed. And that's the basic of it, but I'm gonna explain more as I go. Now, the only problem is, as soon as I turn this on, I'm not gonna be able to actually talk to you guys, because, you know, it's gonna actually interpret what I'm saying, and it's gonna be really self-conscious, so, for me. So, I don't know, uh, let's actually try, let's try to do play. Uh, okay. So, if I say, move forward... Uh, is the oh, okay, there we go. Okay, it's moving forward. Uh, okay, uh, I don't wanna drown. Uh, jump, jump, jump. I, I really want you to jump right now. Please, jump. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're doing it. Okay, uh, stop jumping. Stop jump. The, you, you need to stop. Okay, this is too much jumping. Stop. Stop. Okay, that, that wolf is really looking at me weird. Stop jump. Okay, there you go. You can see at the bottom the command I typed. So, like, not that I typed, but that I said. So, it's gonna try to understand what I'm saying. And it's actually using Google Cloud APIs to do this. If you want to know more in detail about how this works, I'm gonna leave some of the stuff in the description for you to check it out. And I might also do a video on the coding channel about this. So, you can see at the bottom the commands. Uh, but now, let's say, uh, uh, I don't know, mouse click, mouse left. I don't remember what I said, actually. Mouse left. Oh my gosh. Mouse left. Okay, there we go. And now it's breaking the blocks. Uh, it's gonna be... Oh, there we go. Okay, stop mouse left. Uh, okay, now another thing that I wanted to implement was the directional stuff. So I wanted to say look right and it will actually look right. The problem is in Minecraft it doesn't work because your mouse is captured by the application. But if I actually just move the mouse manually, it's gonna magically teleport to the right. So I don't know how that works, but yeah, I, I maybe I have to figure it out. Okay, but now we have to stop doing whatever we're doing. I don't know why it's, it's doing this. Left, stop forward, stop right. Okay, uh, stop left click, stop left mouse. Okay, it understood stop left quick. Okay, oh gosh. Okay, there we go. Uh, now I actually wanna look down, so look down. Okay, and now I need to move the mouse manually or it's not gonna work. Okay, there we go. No, 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 no. Look down. Okay, let's do it once more. Okay, look down. Okay, slowly but surely, this is working out. Ah, never mind. Um, let's see. Move left. Ah, uh, okay, I mean, that's kind of what I wanted, but not really. Um, inventory. Okay, there we go. Um, this is gonna be a real pain. Uh, move down. No, I mean, not move down. I mean, look down. Look, no, 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 no. Inventory. Okay, look down. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Inventory. Oh, I know why he's doing this. Okay, I have to say, uh, not that. Inventory once. Look left. Oh, there we go. Mouse click. Uh, mouse left click. No, that's not, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to say. Mouse left click. Uh, look right. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is happening. Look up. L oh, this is not gonna work, is it? L look right. Uh, this, is, this is so not gonna work. Um, how do I do this? Uh, look right, look up. Look left, look up, look right. Oh my gosh, look right. No, I wanted to say look right. Okay, stop, stop mouse clicking. Oh my gosh, no, there is no way this is happening. Uh, okay, I give up. Okay, maybe crafting is way too difficult using this system, but another thing we can do is sprint. 
Okay, it just stops replying to my commands. It just doesn't care anymore. It, like, it literally stopped working. Um, okay, well, that's a little bit cringe. Okay, apparently now it works. Sprint. Okay, sneak. Ah, wait, what? He started sprinting when he snow. Oh, what, what is this? Uh, no, okay, stop sneaking. Stop sneak. Okay, there you go. Um, stop jump. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a problem. Uh, mouse click, mouse click. Mouse left, left mouse, left mouse. Oh come on, uh, turn, turn right, turn right. Okay, well, I, 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 I tried, I tried my best. Okay, guys, I tried my best. It didn't, it didn't work. But yeah, guys, we knew that this was gonna be an impossible challenge, but it's still really fun nonetheless. And if you wanna try this yourself with some code that I made in Python, you can actually set this up pretty easily. So uh, let me actually go back to not full screen so I can show you what you need. Let me close this application first. So this is all of the Python code. It's all going to be in the description. I'm going to probably put it on GitHub somewhere. And I also have this virtual environment here. So if you download the entire project, all of this is going to be set up for you already. So all you need to do is go into this project and run this file. Now you have to run this Python executable with this virtual environment. If you don't know how to do that, you can search up some YouTube, um, some you know tutorials on YouTube or on other places. But I'm not going to actually go through the code. So basically, as I said before, we have this dictionary of all of the different keys that you can you know press. And based on what you say, forward, left, backwards, it actually will press a different key. But now let's see how the actual speech recognition works. So we have this loop while through, so basically this, this stuff here is going to repeat every single frame. If we are not already listening for a command, we are going to listen for a command. Basically what this function does is that it uses the audio from my mic which we got it from this library right here, the speech recognition library. It's actually gonna get my microphone, which is my first device. It's the device number zero. Uh, naturally on your computer, the device might not be the number zero. It might be like a, another index. In that case, you have to like find all of the devices you have. There is like this list microphone names method that you can use. And then if you hit pray, pray oh my gosh, play, it's gonna actually list you all of the devices. And as you can see, this is my first microphone that I have. So this is why the index is zero. But on your computer, the index might be different. So you have to figure it out. Usually it's, it's just zero or like, even if you don't put anything, it's gonna use the default one. So that's a thing. Uh, okay, so after that, using that, we are actually gonna get a source and we're gonna listen to this source, which is basically me talking. So the beauty of this command right here is that as soon as I finish talking, it's going to move on to the next instruction. So as soon as he finds that there is some silence, it's going to move to the next instruction. The next instruction is actually uh, recognizing the audio using Google. So this function right here is going to use the Google Cloud APIs. And okay, there is actually a description right here telling you what it does. And uh, it's actually going to return a string, which is the thing that you spoke. And uh, once he returns this string, we put this string into parse command. And as I said before, based on the command it wrongfully understood most of the time, uh, it's gonna actually do something different. So as you can see, if I say look, based on the direction I say to look to, it's gonna move the mouse in a different position. If I say mouse wheel, it's actually gonna scroll the mouse wheel. We didn't test that out. If I say mouse left, uh, and if I say once, so mouse left once, it's gonna click the mouse uh, left button only once, but if I don't say anything, it's gonna actually hold it. And if I say stop, it's gonna stop holding it. And this is the same for all of the commands, plus all of the keys. So if I say uh, inventory once, it's gonna press the E key only once. But if I only say inventory, it's gonna keep held. He, uh, yeah, it's gonna keep holding it. So uh, this is why it wasn't working before. Like the inventory was uh, keeping on going on and off again. So that's why. But yeah, this is basically all of the code. It was pretty fun to code actually. And a lot of weird stuff happened while I was coding it because you, you can understand when you're testing this stuff, you hit play, then you start speaking and literally on the code itself, it starts typing random words because that's like how the system works. And so it was really annoying to code, but at the same time, really fun. And uh, you know, the, the same code that works in Minecraft can also work for any other game because I'm literally getting the keystrokes from my computer. Another thing to note is that I'm on a Mac right now and actually Mac has a lot of problems or like not problems but security issues with keystrokes. So in order to actually run this Python script I had to authenticate it through administrator. So I, I had to run this as an administrator 
uh, but this is only on Mac because Mac is weird, but it's also really security based. Like on other uh, operating systems, you actually don't need to do that. But on Mac, in order to actually run this script, you need to type in your password. So that's another thing that you have to keep in mind. But yeah, regardless, this was really fun to code, as I said before. And uh, also, thank you ever so much for sticking with me till the end of the video. It's been like a few months. I didn't do a video already, so I don't know why you guys are still subscribed to me. But anyway, since you stuck to the very end, I can tell you also what's going on in my life personally, just if you wanted to know. Uh, I started college uh, literally a month ago. I have my first exam in like three weeks from now, so you know, that's gonna be interesting. I'm probably gonna make a tweet or either a community post keeping you updated on this stuff actually now that I think about it. Uh, but at the same time, I'm trying to do YouTube just when I get a cool idea or something to do. And also, I do have another idea for a video I will do soon on the coding channel. So you can also check that out if you want new content from me. But that said, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this funny video. I certainly did. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. See ya!